Hello everybody, Rob here with Raving Eagle Media. So it's a little after 1 a.m. on August the 10th, 2018. We've finally gotten the next Fallout Loot Crate, uh, Fallout 4 Loot Crate. Uh, this was of course from June and makes me a little nervous for August. So let's get a look at what's inside this. As always, you know, I open it right in front of you guys. I have not even gotten a look at what's in this yet. So, there. it came today. I just got home from work and I'm taking a look at this. Okay, Brotherhood of Steel, no surprise there. Paladin Dance. Nice, great big piece of artwork. Uh, almost looks a little bit like Arthur Maxon. But, oh, okay, the coat's not as long. It's a bomber jacket, not the trench coat that Maxon wears. So, that's a pretty good looking figure. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty nice. Keychain with the braid. Not a bad piece for the Brotherhood of Steel. We have box four of six for the figure. I'll bring that up. It's the arms. They are so small, I'm not going to open them right now. What is this? Okay. Oh. Weapon. Okay. Ah, rifleman perk. Pin. Not bad looking. Here's the biggest question. We know the shirt's going to be thin. I've commented on that before, but... Oh, nice. Liberty Prime. That looks like a nice shirt. Again, sadly, kind of hard to wear. Haven't been getting what I would call a men's size shirt. Asking for a large. Faction patches. Let's get a look at this, why don't we? Sorry if the angle's a little off. Working in a tight space with the camera tonight. Oh, it's a set. Okay, so let me slide it out. Come around here. Oh, very nice. Minutemen, Gunners, and the New California Republic. Very, very nice. Two Fallout 4. They're saying that's the Raiders. It reminds me very much of the Gunners, but hey. Here. I'll move over so you can see everything. They're saying the one up here is Raiders. It very much reminds me of the Gunners, but hey. It's a very nice patch set. Probably one of the better things in the box between these and the keychain. I'd have to say kind of one of the better boxes, but definitely slim pickings. I'm going to throw a picture in to just show you a size comparison. I mean, it's not all about the size. There was some good stuff in here. I, I really like that patch myself. So I'm going to be most likely using that. Contents card as always. That is a very nice shot of the Pridwin if you're a fan of the Brotherhood. It's a very good art piece for the Pridwin. I mean, all in all, it's really... It's not a bad box. I just don't I don't understand what the huge delay was. It was kind of crazy. I mean, this like I said, this is June's box and we're getting it. It's August 10th. I got this August 9th. 
was brought in while I was at work. So, you know, it's, it's not bad content, so everybody's gotten a look at that. I think it's uh, some pretty good stuff this time around. Uh, I had a question, it was brought up to me, the, my fiance was talking to me when the Nuka Cola crate had come in. That's when I got, as a pre-order, the Nuka Nuke. So I was wondering, was anybody else who did a monthly, if you, or if you just happened to get that one, did you have something in there to make up for that hole, or was it just nothing? That's a question if anybody has gotten the crate. If you want to comment below, I'd love to know, really. Uh, just as a size comparison, here, pick the box up on its side. Let me take a look here so I know what you're seeing. So this, this is what they're, they're talking about. Supposedly the box was a problem, maybe because of the size, because that's number three right there. Number two is the same size, and of course number one is much, much bigger as the intro box. But I just wanted to show that comparison instead of taking a picture like I was originally planning. So that has been the Brotherhood of Steel Fallout 4 Loot Crate. I will keep you guys updated on what's any information I get. I'm going to probably include a link down in the description below of a place we've been getting the information for the delays and stuff. Being Nobody's told me as a paying customer, which I find very unfortunate and very poor customer service in my opinion. But there's been a website that has been... Uh, being kept up to date don't know how I I just know they've been you know telling pretty much everybody what's going on so I will leave a link in the description below uh, and hopefully I'm going to I want to do a, a discussion video now that we're up to the what's going to be should be the last two for the original run and just I want to discuss some things and uh, get people's opinions and try to show some things off so Again, thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, share, comment, you know, let me know what you think. Like I said, if anybody got the uh, the new Coca-Cola crate, the number three, without pre-ordering, like I said, I'm just very interested if you just had a big space where that Nuka Nuke was for anyone who pre-ordered, or if you actually got something and what you got, and if you were happy with it. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night.